Uh, welcome back, guys. So this is the third session of GitHub. If those people are watching first time this video, please go through first this videos, two videos, then you can pause this video. Otherwise, don't worry. Just I'm explaining in the last session what we have what we have done. Okay. So now let's go within board. So this is today's session agenda. Okay, uh, branching step to merge the branch and rebase the branch and pull that command basic and how much commands we need to discuss these commands. Okay, these are two same, I think so. We need to remove this. Okay, uh, so now this and this, this get removed. Restore when we'll use all this thing. We will discuss today's sessions. So now go and the first sessions we open the PPT. Here you can see what is that code repositories. Okay. So which tool we use, what is that, all these things and advantage with the source code repository. Why where who when why is this in? Repository tools, we have GitHub, Bitbucket, Environment Setups. This is the practical solution working with the GitHubs. Okay, here you can see working with GitWash, how to work with the GitWash. Here I have discussed. Okay, now next is here you can add git add means add your uh, file into that staging area. If you git commit, then you file your inside the unstaged area then push that your commit into central repository. Now git rm means to remove that file if you want. This is the first sessions and uh, now second is okay. uh, in the second session is step to push code to github repository and also in this session I have shared you how to create a repository and how to create the account on GitHub. Okay. Here you can see real time use case I have shown you related to Git staged. What is that meaning? Git staged just for the revision purpose. If you have a code, right, you are working on this task and someone says to you, it means team leader says to you, Vivek, like you are, you are working on this task, please this task on hold. One more, one more important task we got like bug we got, we need to fix this bug. So you need to perform in this, in your working repository, uh, this command get staged. Then your code will, you don't want to waste your code. Like you are taking up too much effort on this. Then this will become, uh, this will go into that one temporary area, right? So our uh, latest code will go, got here. Uh, in that central repository and work on it and post that code on github then again you perform one uh, command git uh, uh, git uh, stage apply then you will get your changes on your uh, local folder i have shown that example on that this is so this is the last sessions guys if you those people want more about it go please and watch this video so now today's agenda is about git branch merging so now branch merging is like one more of the future branch into the development branch or that like the master branch if you merge that branch then you would get merge branch functionality so that will open the merging step to branch merging okay create one feature branch from the main branch i will show you and clone the feature branch and create a new files Okay, then it puts into the central repository. And once the branches are merged to branch, then we will get delete and feature branch. So let's do this practically. So first of all, we can complete this. Okay. So inside this, with uh, GitHub, we have repository. Okay. Inside this repository, we create one feature branch also. Like one more branch I want to create, like new feature branch. 
क्रिएट ये जगह से क्रिएट ब्रांच न्यू फीचर फ्रॉम मास्टर आई वॉन्ट फ्रॉम द मास्टर यू क्रिएट मास्टर ब्रांच जस्ट कॉपी दिस क्लोन आई वॉन्ट टू क्लोन दिस रिपोजिटरी फोल्डर सो सी ड्राइव पब्लिक एंड ऑनलाइन सेशन गेट अप गेट क्लोन वी हैव ऑलरेडी बस जस्ट फॉर योर पर्पज आई एम डिलीटिंग दिस Open and open git bash. Then write one. What is that command? We need to clone this repository on your on your local. Then git clone and shift insert insert this repository. And you need to navigate cd. What is that folder? Git sessions. Then you can see you are in the master. What I want a uh, like a uh, feature one. What is the new feature one? So git checkout. Check out command is moving one branch to another branch. Git check out a uh, new. You can just type new and press tab button. Then you can see branch is changed. Previously we are in the master branch. Right now we are in the uh, new features branch. Then just perfectly. Then I need to go and add one more file. Okay. Right now we add one more file. Test. Okay, in the the test, not the test. Every time I'm writing a test, just uh, rename Vivek file. Okay, Vivek file. Inside this file, I need to write something. Hi, Vivek from ITSP Technology Knowledge. Right. So save this file and just you need to commit your changes on your on that branch like feature branch after that on the merging okay then you develop one feature then you your feature you should uh, put inside that uh, central repository first we need to git add right now i'm showing git status is there one file is added right git add dot now you can see git status what is that area unstaged area is the right to get commit commit into the local m file added right get commit get the status you can say you can't see anything here working to this screen then get push simply get is post into the branch okay get push now here just this post now we need to merge this branch on your development branch here you can see one pop-up message will come if this pop-up message is not coming it's okay fine here you can see this is a new feature branch here we added one file we were created you can go inside the main branch in the main branch file is there after the merging the file will come go inside the pull request no pull request new pull request if you want to create here you can see select uh, the branch which branch you need to create that pull request okay here also otherwise go inside this uh, okay and uh, uh -huh. yes not this one create pull request no no create a new feature not this not this branch uh, feature branch go inside this feature contribute when you will go, go inside any new branch like uh, cut from that uh, master branch, then this pop up will come. We open pull request. Okay. Title file added, right? Create pull request. You create one pull request. Here it will check. Is there any conflict? If is there any conflict with your branch and your feature branch, then that conflict will come. Right? Here you can see. Perfectly. Then you can merge this by hitting this merge this confirm merged. Now go inside the code. Your branch is also available. Now you can see Vivek text text is there inside your branch. Right. This is the grant branch merging device. Okay, perfectly. I think you understood this point. So now next is Git ignore. Git ignore means when we use any git ignore file inside the git ignore file you added any tag any related thing then that file will not commit inside the github suppose in the when we uh, 
uh, run uh, Marvin clean in package, then we will get a jar file. Lot of jar files is there if you want to add, don't want to add the jar file inside the GitHub. Push into the GitHub. We should add a dot target folder like that. Like that here, here we added target folder and jar file here. All. So like that you can add it. Here. So this is about git ignore file. Git merge versus git rebase. Yep. Git merge you can know that git merge is happening. So these command are used to merge changes from branch to another branch. Right? Merge means I have shown to you in your uh, real time pull request. Raise a pull request. Uh, merge that one. This is the local merge will be happening. We will git merge will preserve commit history, right? Git rebase will not preserve your rebase history. When you are working with a particular sprint and you want to merge changes from one branch to another branch, then we will use git merge command, right? So once that deliver is done. We want to take latest code from the sprint one and then sprint two development. This is scenario. We don't need to commit the history. We will use the git rebase command. Okay. This is that. What is that pull? I've shown you these things. this. Git pull. Pull command is used to take the latest changes from the from repository to repository to local. When you want to make some changes to your code, it always to recommend it. Take first pull, then start changes. Not if you execute git pull, there is a chance of getting conflict. We need to resolve that conflict and we should push. We should push. We should push on we should uh, uh, push to code without conflict. We need to push. Now we show this conflict to you. Just come. I can add test, right? Control commit. Test add comment this where we committed inside this branch. We committed, I think, so we committed master branch. Okay, okay, we need to change new feature branch inside the feature branch. This is not available. Okay, added this TT, just add something TT. Commit the changes. Okay. Changes committed. So now come here. If you are take pull here, it will get not nothing we will get. Just we change something in your code also here. Right. Test. Okay. And save this. Close this one. And uh, get pull. Get pull. Now here you can see, uh, we get uh, what the local changes to the following file with overridden merge Vivek txt. Please commit your changes to stage then before you merged. Some changes you have done. Some changes in the remote also done. That's why this error will come. So you need to remove your changes or like uh, we take a pull get. Pull, take pull. No, here you can please commit. Okay, git push. Okay, git add dot added. Git commit hyphen m test commit. Okay, commit git push. Post here you can see failed. Fail to push this this repository. Git pull. Take before your pushing again. Okay. Git pull. 
no auto conflict will arise take see take a pull then conflict will content much conflict in vivek.txt just go inside the vivek.txt open this inside this vivek.txt now here you can resolve this conflict now this is added by the both this is if you want both the changes just now you can check git status yes git add dot git status git commit hyphen a message resolve conflict resolved the conflict okay git push not push git push not take a pull now this is the way to resolve a conflict so inside the git to push you can check here to okay. you can create a pull request also if you because you are in the two steps back perfect so now next, after this is completed, so now the, the tactical task, create a Maven web application, add a Spring code dependency in your project, package MAM project as a war file using create Git repository in GitHub or Bitbucket, whatever you like, you can commit, you can create and push Maven project on the GitHub repo using GitHub bash and make changes in pom.xml and push the changes on github repo using west create the feature branch like that those practical actually these points i have written down. so now these are some commands which you know restore means restore that changes okay next i will show you so revert git revert a git revert is command okay uh, used to revert your undo or previous to commit. If you want to get, suppose I have committed uh, first, this is first commit, first commit, this is second commit. But I want this commit, okay? Previous commit, the, the last one is the previous commit. Then you can just uh, use git revert, revert and hash code for this block okay so now let's i will show you this example uh, previous that uh what is that uh commit inside the git can go inside that commit actions yeah itsp stt is committed no 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 this is recommitted in the last okay uh which method we take it previous commit if you want copy this and get revert check get revert okay and put insert this now conflict is coming again is conflict must conflict will come because some changes are there in this uh, bar right here you can see uh, Close this and if you go and open this, you can get the conflict, right? Resolve it conflict. Resolve it conflict. Save it. Okay. And mm -hmm. now you can get the conflict also. Or oh, otherwise, do one more practical. You want open this control Z not happen okay this is not a big deal but just git add dot means all git push commit hyphen m a single word remove conflict remove conflict okay hit enter git push Push to the branch. Branch is pushed. Now I want to one more. before this. Now go inside this and search this one. We get here the resolve conflict, remove conflict. Before that, I want this to so copy this and go revert. 
ग्रिड रिवर्ट इसे पहले वाली मेरे को कॉपी क्या तो बोल रहा हूँ जस्ट एरर कमिट इज मच बट नो एम ऑप्शन ग्रिड रिवर्ट इज स्पेलिंग इज राइट आई थिंक स्पेलिंग इज करेक्ट रिवर्ट Let's see one more time. Ah, uh, fatal revert field. Ah, uh, is a merge, but not a option was given. Okay, it's merged. Ah, uh, you can take a conflict right now. This not test. If you try to test also, not test. T T. <laughs> also take. You can take T T. Revert right. Check. Previous branch up to this one. Followed. Okay, conflict will come again. So you need to again. Uh, now it's conflicted there. If you can see, conflict will come. But I don't want to remove this conflict and just I uh, revert that uh, get revert branch with that latest. Uh, copy and insert, insert, enter. Now here, reverting is not possible because you have unmerged file. Right now we have unmerged file. We need to first merge this file. So git merge merge it. We need to resolve this conflict. After that, you can merge it. I will show you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Open this. Uh, resolve this conflict. Resolve this. Resolve this okay. So yes, save, save, close this okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Now get a status, get a status, get add. Okay, not a git add a space dot git commit git status. A check here is the instance of git git uh what is that now? Commit hyphen m message add it git push push to it. No perfect is pushed. Uh, here you can check if the registry is also now it is committed right now uh, TSP technologies add it right so up to this is clear to you guys so revert is clear if you want to get a previous branch then use the revert right so now with the hash put git branch git checkout we discussed git branch means if you want to see that branch then use git branch mm -hmm. git branch if you want to see that branch how many and if you see the star means you are currently you are look you are pointing to this branch then it means to star so you can color changes are there okay so now that's clear and git fetch this is the important git fetch is command used to retrieve changes from remote repository but doesn't automatically merge them to your local branch it is useful when you want to see uh, what changes others have made in the remote repository without merging them into your working branch immediately right now check git check the remote changes first ensure okay git fetch origin first is put ensure the center uh, current branch okay just check okay git git status nothing is working tree is clear okay just i need to do some changes in this branch okay i mean feature branch go open vivek.txt and add it something like hi vivek hit 
हाय विवेक हाय विवेक कमेंट दिस एंड हाय कमेंट एंड चेक हियर इज देयर एनी गिट स्टेटस नथिंग बिकॉज़ इन द लोकल इज नथिंग गिट फैच फैच ओरिजिन परफेक्ट नाउ हियर वी गेट समथिंग हियर you can see enumeration something will done okay inside that branch okay. new feature branch we done it sometimes so now this is the way to get if you want to see the logs also if you if you can right so now here you can see git status working tree is local is cleared what you can see the some changes have done inside the remote you can got it that idea because of this message okay search so, so suppose you want to see that uh, git right this command was to change from the local host and when git reverse origin master this command reverse your current branch on to origin master and convert the changes from the remote changes on to your local branch history okay let's see git git reverse 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 its spelling is correct let's me check reverse D A S E based. What is that branch? Uh, origin. Origin slash origin slash master. Not a master. What is the new feature branch? Yes, yeah, successfully reverse up to that head. Okay, get the status. No, no working tree. If you fetch that local, let's see, it fetch origin here. Right now is nothing. Now here you can see refresh. What's the one? High way get going. Okay. It means that our changes having done. If you perform the ways, then that changes will come. Right. Perfect. Then if you want, then you. Git rm command. Rm command means uh, remove that file from your local in that git by using this git rm. And after that git rm, by using four types we can remove. If you git rm single file you can remove, multi file you can remove, and git rm pattern based dot dot txt the type of file will remove automatically. If you don't want, I will show you it here and that uh, kit. And as you can see, right now we have uh, four files. Okay, kit rm and just I am going to test dot txt rm. Now see, git status one file is deleted. Right, if you push add and push that into central it means uh, inside the central also they, they will delete it this file right but i want to reverse okay if you want to revert this file by mistake you have done this then you just perform what is the git restore and hyphen hyphen staged after using git rm the file are deleted from that working directory and is staged from commit. If you want to undo this removal and restore the file, restore that file, sorry, restore your file, then use this. Okay. Then store the stage. Get RM only remove the file from your current commit and future commits it does not remove the file from a previous commit. It is depository history, right? 
so now i want to like undo these changes so now in the unstaged area so if you commit this then it, this will delete from also so i, I don't want to delete to perform git restore git restore restore iphone iphone is staged right file name is test dot txt get state see file is unstaged right now i want to restore that file get restore restore okay get restore text dot txt get the status the working tree is clean now i think you got this idea what about this so now get restore command is this we completed up to this get status you can check get status get restore like this okay get status this command so all these things changes git add this file git status git restore staged area git add we discussed this is the theory part not the part i have discussed with you so this is total about github okay up to this is completed now one more thing i want to discuss with you suppose here uh, mm -hmm. that this repository in the master uh, some changes i have done in the bv okay add it Hi, we Okay, comment this. So let's see. Just committed text review in the branch in that uh, current branch. We have one which file we have changed. We dot txt. Okay, we dot txt. We have but right now in this branch we have a lot of things. We dot txt. Okay, so now uh, just take a pull get uh, you know get push get a status if i need this i think i think tree is clean means all this thing is available in the right central repository so go inside this and uh, i need to just i am showing the conflicts guys wait uh inside the pr pull request a new pull and new features branch i need to create pull request create pull request new features create pull request okay request is created if you have everything here just i want to show you these things right the conflict is coming conflict is coming now. so that things i want to show you add to current page Okay, perfectly. Period. No. So I need to resolve this conflict. Okay. So how you can resolve this conflict? You can just uh, go inside this and uh, git open, git vice is open. Now hit one when uh, one thing get merge merge origin slash master okay then that conflict will come your systems also now vivek dot txt you can go open then resolve this conflict okay 
resolve this. Okay, high Vivek is there. Control save. You can just remove this also. Control yes. Okay, I need all the changes, main and feature branch. Just go and get check the status, get add, dot add, get modified now, get uh, commit, hyphen yeah, resolve to conflict, the conflict, conflict, lift, okay, and get push, right, now, perfectly it's done, now here, it go then check it's checking so again it's checking again conflict is there maybe conflict is not resolved right so when it's uh, conflict is resolved then you can able to merge it okay then go check once mm -hmm. check once one more time you can check mm -hmm. okay perform git merge uh, origin class master no it's already up to date git push okay pushing everything with status okay working tree is clean go inside the pull request if any pull request is perfectly not resolve that conflicts yeah, you can see, then take this conflict. I think I'll resolve this conflict. You can just go and protect this branch. Okay, you can protect also. Protect and also do also. Okay, just go inside the Vivek.txt. No conflict. Okay, just what is that I'm doing it? New branch. Yes, I need to see. Merge branch is happening. My dot txt I have done it now. Vivek dot txt is conflict is always there. Okay. Just create a ah. but that contributor. Inside that contributor, we can we resolve that conflict, but it is still showing. Mm-hmm. Okay, we need to create new pull request with the new. Okay. Yeah. View all pools. I need to resolve this conflict, right? You can just click that way also. You can. Resolve this master's master resolve commit. Very good. Now it's able to merge it. Okay. Mark that also. So now Vivek.txt is there. All these things is coming from that. And also you can delete this. You can follow me in the ITSP technology. As soon as possible, I will load up another beautiful session about GitHub Actions. What is that? How to perform the CI-CD pipeline. Okay, by using GitHub free of cost, you can deploy your code on GitHub AWS repository on Docker Hub also and create the image also. By using GitHub, you can do whatever you want. So thank you. Up to this, we are handling the GitHub. You can go and watch these three videos. You are feeling too good. And I will upload these notes also on this group. So thank you. We will meet uh, some other sessions. Okay, thanks.